Good morning, people. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack. I produce weekly content based around video editing and videography. Today, we're talking about an easy mobile video editing app. This is called Filmer. F-I-L-M-R. Super intuitive, super easy. I think this genuinely is the easiest video editing app I've ever done a video on. I've done a couple videos on a couple others. I won't mention the names out of respect for Filmer. F-I-L-M-R. Shout out to my editor. Throw up the logo right there for Filmer. And we're going to be breaking it down, right? The beautiful thing about this editor, okay, is that everything is super easy. It's all on one page. I am going to show you an edit that I just made, just mess it around. And then we're going to recreate the edit myself, uh, ourselves rather. So let's throw the screen record over there. Shout out to my editor. And let's actually just go ahead and briefly play through this, right? So everything can, can, can be created on one page. You can either import your clips through the camera roll or import, you know, or just record footage straight on the app. Um, there's over 150 plus different features, tools, speed control, transitions, etc. As you can see, all the different transitions. They've got crazy filters, color correction, everything. They've got, you know, the music is straight from the app. There's over 20 million royalty free songs. It's absolutely crazy. There's, there's so much stuff. And overall, it's genuinely an awesome app that we're going to be breaking down in today's video, doing a little edit. So let's go ahead and, uh, and waste no time and actually start with the edit on Filmer, F-I-L-M-R. So, I'm going to go to camera roll, and I'm just going to go ahead and go to my uh, my favorites, okay? Let's go over here to uh, favorites. Boom, easy peasy. And let's go ahead and import some footage of a car crash that unfortunately I was in. No one was hurt. It was a very ba very basic level situation. Uh, it wasn't actually a basic level situation. We just kind of came around a, a blind corner, bumped into each other, and unfortunately, the uh, the car was, you know, kind of kind of wrecked, to be honest. Anyways, let's go ahead and import some clips of this unfortunate event. It's a laugh or cry situation, so today I'm gonna be I'm gonna be laughing, and we're gonna go ahead and tap import. Now it's gonna import all our stuff right here. As you can see, it has imported all of the clips into the vertical video editor. Now the first thing I do when I open up a edit, whether it's mobile, whether it's desktop, it doesn't matter, is I pick a song that I'm gonna be editing the video to. The song is everything because you sync up the edit and you create the actual pacing of the sequence to the song. So, let's go over here to music. As I already mentioned, there's over 20 million royalty-free music library. You can even add your own music. If you got your own music, you want to add it, you can add your own music. Tap to add music. Let's go to music. Now, you've got a whole bunch of different genres up here, right? I want to go to chasing because I want something nice and fast-paced. It was a car crash at the end of the day. Fast-paced is the type of vibe that we want. I'm going to play through a couple of them. That's not the vibe. I don't think that's the vibe either. That that can be the vibe. That could definitely be the vibe. Let's actually go ahead and tap that. It's going to import the song. And I want to start it on the actual main beat. So let's play it for a second and see where the main beat actually is. Boom. Okay, cool. So it's about one second in. All right. It's about one, one second in. Let's play this again. Yeah, it is about one second in, all right? So let's just literally bring that in over here. Maybe two seconds in. Okay, a little bit back, actually, a little bit back. We've got to kind of get the, the perfect start of this. Boom. Awesome. I like that. Let's go ahead and come back, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and play this bad boy. Very nice. Awesome. Now I do want to tap on this uh, on this clip right here and go to volume and actually just turn the volume down of the actual song I was listening to in the car. All right. So let's come back here. We've got our first clip nicely starting on the start of the the boom. Right. So let's play this and let's just actually first off chop all of our clips to start. I mean to sync to the beat basically. So every time there's a boom boom right there's an actual beat drop. We want to actually sync a clip to that. So let's start playing. Boom, right there. That's the next one. I can hear that in the song. Awesome. So let's keep playing it. Boom. Awesome. Let's drag this over a little bit. Drag this over a little bit more. I want to I want to leave in the, the the video of me smoking the cigar, right? So that's going to be a double beat. At the end of the day, I just had I randomly had a cigar sitting in my car that I was waiting to smoke on a special occasion and I crashed the car and I figured you know what screw it this is uh you know I gotta smoke the pain away I crashed my BMW two months after after getting it 
it's time to smoke the cigar. This is uh, this is as good a time as any to smoke the pain away. But let's keep playing this. Keep playing this bad boy. Boom. So let's leave this one on for a double beat. Awesome. I got some water over there that I'm drinking. Some nice cold water. Again, let's bring this down. Let's see if we cut that on the right beat. Perfect. This is the car being loaded up onto the actual moving situation. <laughs> they got to come pick it up and take it to the garage. Perfect. Let's drag that over. And I believe we've now created um, a nice sequence. So let's bring this over a little bit more. Okay, cool. So let's play this from the beginning. See if the pacing of our sequence is looking nice. There we go. Smoke the cigar. Boom, it's getting loaded up onto the moving van. Awesome. Perfect. Let's drag that over a little bit more just so when the next beat hits, the, co the, the camera zooms out. There you go. Dun, 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 dun. And now on that beat, I want it to go away. So perfect. We've actually built a sequence together. We can actually go ahead and just quickly watch that sequence fully. Boom. Cuts on the beat. Awesome. That's a double beat because we want to show the cigar. Awesome. Perfect. Getting loaded up. Unfortunate. I can nearly crack a, tire, uh, crack a tear looking at this. Me and my bro laughing about it. It is what it is. You see that? That shrug says it all. It is what it is. What are you going to do? It's a laugh or cry situation. A lot of people might cry in the situation. Me and my bro choose to laugh. It is what it is. Well, my bro would choose to laugh because he has no financial obligation. It's only me. Anyways, the game is the game. Let's go ahead and click on this uh, on this clip. I want to add some color to this, right? It's looking a little bit plain. I want to go to filters, and we've got so many different color grades right now. It is genuinely unbelievable. We got some, some 1960s stuff. You know, I actually really like the burning one. I'm not going to lie. Paris is kind of nice as well. I kind of like Paris. You know what? I think we're going to go with Paris, but let me just show you all the other ones. We got black and whites, intense. There's also some like some just nice and vibrant stuff right here, right? Where you can get some different vibrant. That's a little bit too much. Some rainbow type situations and some duotone. That's kind of cool. More like sort of monotone, basic level stuff. There's different color grades, different filters for any look that you're trying to go for. Personally, I like the sort of autumn feel that Paris gave me. I like the burning you know, Paris is a little bit more subtle. I like Paris. Now, what we could also do, is we don't just want this on one clip. It would look very strange. We want to apply this to all clips. Apply in all clips. Let's go back, and just like that, if we scroll through, we now have a color grade on every single clip. And each clip is looking a lot nicer, by the way. Each clip is looking a lot nicer. Let's go ahead and play our video in full, and I want to start adding some transitions. As you can see right here, they're, they're, they're teasing us with the Add Transition button. And I want to slowly build up this sequence to something genuinely awesome with the transitions. It's going to take us a long way. So let's play this in full and have a look at the uh, the nice color grade, the nice sync to the beat. It's looking 10 out of 10. I'm loving this. Boom. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Amazing. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Boom! So, the video is done and dusted in terms of sequencing. Now, I want to add some relevant transitions, okay? So, I know somewhere hidden in here, there is a crash transition. Some sort of, like, crash-style transition, right? I'm going to find it. I believe it is in triangle, potentially. That's definitely not it. Um, not stylized. There you go. So, as you can see, that's kind of like a little crash. It's kind of a crash, all right? Boom. Nice. Cool. So now I want to come over to this next one and I want to get another transition. They got so much different stuff. Genuinely so much different stuff. Uh, they have, you know, if we come over here, they got light leaks, general light leaks. Boom. They've got burns. They've got all type of stuff. They got zooms. They've got a hundred different things. Okay. Now I think because I'm smoking, the waves could be nice. Except the, the sinking of the beat, I've just noticed, is a little bit off. So we need to drag this over a little bit more. There you go. Doom. There you go. Cool. And I think that one needs to come out a little bit as well. 
Perfect. There you go. That's perfectly on the beat. So let's get this next one. I think, you know what I think? I think a light lease could work nice for that one. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. And the sun is in this one. You see how there's like the sun poking out? So if we add another transition here, we want to do something in that complements what's already happening in the scene. That's the best transitions ever. The worst transitions ever are super forced transitions, which like just don't make any sense in the scene. Best transitions are ones that blend into the scene very well. So I think some sort of light. We've already used the light leak. Maybe exposure. Okay, awesome. However, I've noticed the, the clip needs syncing again, right? So it comes a little bit out of sync sometimes. That's only because I think the transitions have, have changed the pacing a little bit, okay? So now we've got the transition here. Perfect. Boom. Awesome. And you know what I want to do? I want to add kind of like a VHS effect at the end here. Awesome. So let's go over here and let's get the VHS. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Duration for two seconds. Boom. And just like that, we have done and dusted the edit. I want to actually go ahead and scroll up here in the timeline. Timeline is absolutely awesome. Let's have a look. If we can add a transition to the start as well. Maybe, maybe like the VHS at the start. Can we do that? Do we think? Nah, I'm not really feeling that. Maybe that. That, that's actually pretty nice, to be honest. So now, if we actually go ahead and play our edit fully, this is looking pretty tasty now. Let's go ahead and play our edit in full with the with all the transitions. But you know what we can do? We can actually full screen it. There you go. So that's even nicer. Let's full screen it and let's play it together. Boom. Lovely. There you go. 10 out of 10. Ooh. Perfect. Just like that, we've created an edit from scratch in Filmer, F-I-L-M-R. Awesome. So right there, guys, we've done it. We have a full edit. We have a transition that starts it. We have a beautiful filter that's tying all the colors of the clips together. We got perfectly, tr like, pacing transitions um, not perfectly pacing, perfectly fitting transitions. The, the transitions fit what's happening. We have a crash transition here for the crash. We got kind of like a wavy transition because I'm smoking. Uh, you know, we got a, a light leaks because the sun's in the next clip. We have a, 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 again, like a light transition with the exposure because, again, the sun's here and it's kind of flying over there. And it ends off with a VHS glitchy type situation. And just like that, guys, we've built a perfect video. So let's actually export it. We've got a video. Let's go ahead and export this bad boy. Let's head over to format, and we can actually decide where this is going. So personally, I'm going to keep it in vertical because it's shot in vertical. It look a little strange. But if you guys were editing something and you wanted to throw it on the Instagram homepage, for example, the Instagram feed, boom, you guys can format it instantly and save it as Instagram 4 by 5 If you guys want to throw it on Snapchat, the Snapchat square, it's got the Snapchat landscape. It has the uh, Twitter landscape, Twitter square. It has perfectly formatted sizes for every single social media platform. This is a vertical clip. So we're going to keep it in vertical, right? And, you know, it wouldn't make much sense to change it from vertical because it is vertical. We're just going to have these black bars on the side of it, which doesn't really look too good. But if you guys had created some content for Twitter, you guys could format it for Twitter. If you created it for YouTube, you can format it for YouTube. You created it for the stories, you can format it for stories. They've got pre-built formats for every single platform already in here. You could save it for anything, which makes exporting and putting to your favorite content website, right? Super easy. Now, there's also some frames, which I'm going to skip right now because they don't really suit this video right here. If that's your style and you wanted something like that, you could easily do a, uh, a frame at the end. They've got some, some color uh, changes for the frame as well. Personally, I'm actually just going to go ahead and, and leave it vertical with, with no frame because it's just not the vibe that I'm, that I'm going for, right? And we could actually go up here to, uh, to save again right now. Say you'd formatted it for Instagram. You could tap on Instagram, send it to Instagram. If you'd uh, formatted it for WhatsApp, you know, you want to send it to your boy. Yo, look at this edit that I just made, bro. It's sick. <laughs> you could do that. You want Twitter, you could do that. All, all of this stuff is, uh, is very, very simple. The YouTube one looks like it has to obviously sign in. Personally, I'm just going to tap save. And I'm going to export this to my camera roll. Let's see how quick it exports. Looks like it's going pretty quick. Already 50%. Already 69%. Already 90%. And just like that, it's done. We can actually go ahead and press OK. And we can actually come over here to our uh, to our photos. 
and the the video is right here we can actually together now watch this video completely in full and you know watch the final version which has been exported to our phone so let's do it let's tap play let's watch the final exported version Woo! Perfect. Waving. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. Game game. Game game. Game game. Game And just like that, guys, that right there is the video on F-I-L-M-R Filmer done and dusted. If you guys enjoyed the video, please follow at Filmer.app. Shout out to Dorgesh, my editor, at Filmer.app. Go ahead and follow them down below. Also, you can download the Filmer app again in the description. Super easy mobile video editing app. Genuinely the easiest I've used. Like I said, out of respect for Filmer, I won't mention the other video editing apps I've reviewed on this channel. But the timeline for them was far less intuitive. The timeline for this was extremely intuitive. It is, you know, it's kind of tough. Mo normal video editors, if you're using it on the computer, it's widescreen. So you got loads of space to fill, to, to put all the stuff, right? Building a timeline for a video editing app is tough because you have to build it vertically. You have to build it going down. Their timeline was phenomenal. F L M L. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the ABCs? F I L M R. There you go. A B C D E F. No, 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 no. F I L M R. Filmer. Mobile video editing app. Download it down below. Blessings if you made it to the end of the video. Unfortunately, the BMW is looking like a category N write off. Unfortunately, so I've lost a beamer. I'll get another one later in the year. The game's a game. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Download Filmer down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.